Let's solve one problem based on biased parallel clipper. In this problem, we have to calculate the output voltage VO and once we have the value of output voltage, we have to plot the output waveform. This is the input waveform given in the problem. The input waveform is sinusoidal in nature and VM, the maximum or peak voltage is equal to 8 volts. I'm calling this circuit biased clipper because we have additional DC voltage source present in this circuit. The magnitude is equal to 4 volts. I will analyze this circuit for the first half cycle from 0 to T by 2. This will be the polarity plus minus and if I only consider the input voltage source VI and neglect this 4 volt DC voltage source, the direction of current will be like this clockwise and the direction of current is similar to the direction of arrow in the diode symbol. So VI is forward biasing the PN junction diode and if I consider if I consider the 4 volt DC supply only then this will be the direction of the current and it is opposite to the direction of the arrow so I can say this 4 volt DC supply is reverse biasing the PN junction diode so the diode will be forward biased when input voltage VI is greater than 4 volts and the value of output voltage is equal to 4 volts. This is pretty simple to calculate. Let's see how I got output voltage equal to 4 volts. Diode is forward biased so I will replace the diode with short circuit because it is given in the problem that the diode is ideal and in case of ideal diode we replace it with the short circuit and you can clearly see the output voltage is equal to 4 volts. The output voltage is equal to 4 volts. The next case is when the diode is reverse bias and this will happen when the input voltage is smaller than 4 volts. The output voltage VO is simply equal to the input voltage for this condition. Let's see how it is equal to the input voltage. The diode will remain open circuited because it is reverse biased. So there will be no current in this circuit and voltage drop across this resistance is equal to zero. I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law. Voltage across these two terminals is equal to VO plus minus VO. So we have plus of VO plus of VO in this direction. We have minus of minus of VI equal to zero. So VO is simply equal to VI. That's what we have when the diode is reverse biased. Now I will try to plot the output waveform for the first half cycle. This is 4 volts. I will extend this intersection. I will extend this point of intersection like this. And I will also extend this point of intersection like this. This will help us to plot the output waveform. V O. When V I, the input voltage is less than 4 volts, this means this section and this section of the waveform, the output voltage is equal to V I. So simply we have the output voltage equal to V I like this. And when input voltage is greater than 4 volts, this means this section of the waveform, the output voltage is equal to 4 volts. So we have constant voltage throughout this time interval and it is equal to 4 volts. Now we will move to the next part of this lecture in which we will analyze the negative half of the waveform from T by 2 to T. This will be the polarity minus plus and you can see this polarity is reverse biasing the diode and this 4 volt DC source was already reverse biasing the PN junction diode. In this circuit there are two potential sources, first one is VI and second one is the 4 volt DC supply and both of them are trying to reverse bias the diode. So diode will be reverse biased and output voltage is equal to VI. So simply, so simply the output waveform will look like this similar to the input waveform for this time interval. I hope this is clear to you how to obtain the output waveform for the biased parallel clipper circuit. The next thing is to find out whether this clipper circuit is positive clipper or negative clipper. You can see we have clipped 
the positive portion of the waveform so this clipper is positive clipper this is all for this lecture see you in the next one